Hey everyone, this is Darren with Madcap Toys. Thank you for joining us. This is another What's Sewed video. This week has been a decent report for us here at Madcap Toys. Uh, sales are still down, still slow on eBay. Uh, a lot of times you'll still get what we call a 404 code which says item unavailable or you'll get it's not you, it's us, that page that comes up or you'll have to continually hit that little bar on your, the top of your computer screen and it'll rotate and rotate and rotate and you'll have to keep trying to get to the page to list an item or to uh, edit an item etc so forth or so similar now many of you will know what we're talking about but today uh... the good news that we do have is our sales went roughly from twenty three sales last week on ebay's uh, main store to twenty seven this week not great but it's in the right direction. Also, the numbers are up a little bit, $571.74 sold in dollar amounts, which is also up about 60, almost $70, $71 and change. And the average price range that you will find will run uh, of what sold on eBay for us from $7.37 per item to forty nine dollars and sixteen cents per item and as always remember that does include shipping will which will vary depending on your zip code the item that you purchase the weight and dimensions of the item that was purchased and shipped to you uh, a lot of times you'll notice that if we show an item two or three times on our site it's sold to multiple buyers which we always appreciate but uh, one guy can pay seven dollars for an item another guy pay fifteen well once you get past the mississippi prices go up once you get past the rocket uh, the rockies they rocket up so keep that in mind uh... wherever you wherever you live uh... zip code weight dimensions are very important as a seller and as a buyer all right guys stay tuned i think a lot of you collectors are going to want to share this with your friends because a lot of the items that we are going to be showing off this week that sold in our ebay store are going to impress a lot of you all right stay around we'll see you in a few hi happy august mad cappers this week we had sold a barber liberty head or morgan quarter album uh, this one sold for seven dollars and thirty seven cents something that i can make mention that we do sell these uh, both on eBay as well as Macari as far as the coin supplies are concerned. You can also um, you know, see our other uh, coins and collectibles on there as well. Next up we have from the comic series, oh this is a great one, this is the Alpha Flight from Marvel number 19. So I believe this was um, in the older ages, an older type of a comic. This one sold for $7.76. So I think we have sold quite a, a, you know, at least a few comics this last week, so that's pretty awesome. And then next up, yep, absolutely. So the next one here, we sold a pair, Robin, Robin number three, uh, number three, and number five. And this pair sold for $9.83, including shipping. So this, I believe, is from the Cry of the Huntress series, so pretty awesome with that. Next up that we have here... Um, here it comes. Uh, th is a Mysterio figure. Mysterio pack is what it says here. And this wonderful figure sold for $10.85. So, as you probably already know, we have a lot of loose figures. We have a lot mint on card. Army um, builders. And army builders as well as mint in box. So, uh, again, feel free to check out our stores for that. Next up, we have... This is actually something that was from Treasures from the Boneyard series. If you haven't seen the video yet, you should. We sold uh, a set of two. We sold a set of two. So the G.I. Joe Cobra Fang uh, sold for $10.97 each. So pretty awesome. Um, these were not complete, as you can see. Uh, but we had sold a couple of them within seconds apart. So it was pretty amazing. The first one sold within 30 seconds of listing the item. Okay. And next up we have... From the Chapney series, looks like a police officer. He sold for $11.05. So you're probably going to see that we have some Chapney, we have some Lennard, we have some HK design, different figures of there. So um, we try to fit that into the title. And so make sure that you, you take a look at those if you are a collector of that. And then next up we have from the Diecast series, the Tonka Strike Force Metal Diecast Bodies of the Guardian Jungle Brigade. 
Um, I think I sold a couple of Tonkas this week. This first one sold for $11.32. Um, so we do have some Tonkas left, also some other die casts uh, as well. So we have a lot more. I am listing them as we speak as fast as I can before the Christmas line. Uh, next up, of course, another Tonka metal die cast bodies, Earth Mover Construction Crew. Uh, this one sold for $11.74, uh, so pretty good size there. Just to let you guys know, if I am, if I see you're still during the day that you bought something from us, I try to get it out uh, within the next business day, do the very best I can. So just wanted to make mention of that. We're also running a sale for 35 to 50% off. Over 1,700 items are on sale at this time. Better check it out. Christmas is coming in 143 days. Next up, Star Wars, A Power of the Force Snow Trooper. This one was excellent. Mint on card. Sold for $13.78. A great army builder piece, whether you want to take it out of the card or you want to keep it nice and hang it on a wall or uh, frame it, actually. Display it. Display yeah. it. Next up, Avengers Marvel Age of Ultron Thor. Mint on card. This one sold for $16.00. And ten cents, and as you know, we have many Marvel and DC comics figures that are not only mint on card but also loose as well. So various check out series. our uh, various series, and so check out our other Thor figures that we do have listed. Okay, and then next up, we have, and this guy really, really uh, loved this. So if you're watching, thank you for for um, shopping with Madcap Toys. Um, you were, it was a pleasure to work with you, Harry Potter mini figurine with story scope really like this one um seventeen dollars and four cents so um you know we had a chance to pick that up we had another one as well i'm not sure if i have any more but if i do just we check have other harry sites. potter uh, issues but not that particular one I don't think all right and from the star trek captain james t kirk he's in his green uh attire there still for seventeen dollars and 48 cents um, as we speak, we've been selling in the upcoming more and more Star Trek figures mint on card as well as loose. Um, so if you are looking for some, we have lots of them. So be sure to check us out. Many are on that promotion for the exactly. month of August. So check those out as well. Uh, next up we have Marvel Bishop. This one was on card from the X-Men series. Sold for $18.33. Yes. So we really enjoy selling a lot of the Marvel series as well as the other series as well. And I do believe this one's going out to one of our viewers. Didn't give us permission to use his name in the notes or comments. But also, I do believe he's using this in his animation videos. Awesome. All right. Next up, we have something a little different. Uh, a Nintendo video game, Star Fox. Uh, I don't know if this is the one that is my son's exact favorite, but I know they used to play Star Fox as kids. This one sold for $20.57, and we had tested it in the past, and it worked well to our knowledge, right, Darren? Exactly. It, All right. it worked almost perfect. So we do the best we can when we get those in to make sure that they work correctly before we list them, or if not, we tell you that beforehand. Yes, will be Star Wars, The Power of the Force. Here's another one, Panda Baba. We got a few of those, but this one sold last week for $21.78. Really great, excellent card. Um, you know, many of them we have that are on excellent cards. Some have been a little bit beat up around, but we get them from various um, estates and, and such as that. So, um, on the loose hand, we sold Rodan. Rodan from the Godzilla series. This one sold for $24.46. I kind of like him. He was a little small figure, but something that you can display on your shelves. Um, you know, with your other uh, Godzilla figure collection. So or use him in stop motion, which I do believe the guy is going to do. Absolutely. That's awesome. I can't wait to see it myself. Next up we have from Star Trek. Scotty. Uh, Scotty from the older series, $25.63. Um, he was a lot smaller than, than shown in the picture <laughs> when we went to find him. But um, excellent piece and... So glad um, one of our viewers was able to purchase inches. that. So three-inch figure there, and we also have other three-inch Star Trek figures as well. So be on the lookout for those when you look around on our sites. Next up, we have from the M Har line the British World War One Infantry with Tank Crew. This is a 172 scale. This sold for $29.18. So we don't have a lot of them. We do have some military uh, pieces that are in box as well. Um, so if you if you are into that, the military kind of figures, feel free to check those out. Next up, we have 
What did we have? This is uh, Conan. <laughs> Conan. Uh, he's got a big old name, but we just call him Raw. We call him Raw, but that's not his exact name. If you know what it is, tell us in the comments below. This one sold for $37.49, and I really like the way Darren took his photo. Pretty bright and shiny, and that's exactly the way he was delivered last week. So a really good piece there. And then next up, something we don't always sell, but it was awesome when we did. We sold the Wilson Football Hyper Spiral. Uh, this one sold for $39.22. We do have a couple of other Wilson Football's mitten box, so we do carry them from time to time. If you're thinking Christmas, I know there this is go. crazy. Yeah. Now's the time to get those for that football fan. So uh, be sure to check what we have out don't there. Don't miss out on those sales, people. And then Sesame Street. I love this one. Talking 123 Cookie Monster. Um, so we had a few of those in stock, and uh, this one sold for $41.13. He still talks, he still sings, and he counts and, and does all those great things. So I am so happy for the child that received this. Um, you know, hopefully maybe under the tree or a birthday present. So great thank you. Thank boy. you for shopping with us. And then next up we have the Transformers, right? Red Alert? Yes. Okay, Transformers Red Alert. This one sold for $42.87. A great piece there. I do, do not believe this one was complete. No, it was um, about 90% complete. But uh, when you see an item like this online, uh, don't read into it what some people do, that they want to believe it's complete. If it's complete, we'll tell you it's complete. If not, we'll let you know. All right, next up we have Barbie. Uh, this is a new series to me. It's called the Cookies World Series, a play set. Um, this was in for $48.18. I am going to try, folks, to get more and more of these in. Um, a lady from uh, Puerto Rico had bought this, so uh, I hope you guys are already enjoying it already. But I will try my best to get more of these play sets in because I know they're going to be pretty popular around the holidays. And then last but not least, we had two of these sell. This is from the Valor vs. Venom series, the Hasbro's G.I. Joe line Dusty. We sold two of them. We believe to a viewer, so if you're watching, thank you so much for shopping Mad Cap mm -hmm. Toys. Um, to you, you know, to your name, just give us a note with your purchase, and that's what we want to say as well. Um, it sold for $49.16 a piece. Again, thank you for joining us. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, go ahead and share, like, and comment. And this is Darren and Kathy. And also, too, tell us what was your favorite toy this week? What did you look? What did you see uh, that we talked about that was your favorite? Please put it in the comments below. Um, now I guess we're going to go back to doing some listing on uh, the sites and continue to bring some more good toys to you. Until next time. Bye-bye.